Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Segler. I see lots of runners who get thick yellow toenails that have become infected with toenail fungus. So today we're going to talk about running shoes and how they can put you at risk of toenail fungus as well as what you should do to avoid getting toenail fungus infections from your running shoes. All of these areas of discoloration in the big toenails are actually areas where the keratin in the toenail has been damaged from the toenail fungus infection. This is preventable. If you want to avoid this type of infection, about the worst thing that you can possibly do after you run is rush into the house, take off your damp running shoes, and then throw them into a dark, poorly ventilated closet. Or, if you've been running on a treadmill at the gym, you take your shoes off and stuff them into your gym bag. Your damp running shoes will then sit in the dark and any fungus will start to grow as a result of all that moisture from your sweaty feet. After they've been sitting there incubating for the evening, if you go for a run the next day, the chances are good that the shoes will still be a little bit damp. So you put on your running shoes and head out the door. Not only is there active fungus in your running shoes, but you have fungal spores which are basically the seeds for toenail fungus all lining the interior of your running shoes. Every single time your foot hits the ground, you're at risk of getting a toenail fungus infection. Because inside your shoes, those toenails are bumping up against the inside of the shoe when you stop, slow down, or change direction. The fungal spores then get in underneath the toenail and they start to grow, causing the toenail to become thicker and cause the ugly discoloration in the toenail itself. But it is possible to prevent all of this. You can actually get rid of all the fungal spores in your shoes quite easily. You can just use a disinfectant spray by spraying the inside of the shoes as well as the insert and then letting them dry thoroughly. But you don't have to use chemicals. There are ultraviolet shoe sanitizers that use UV light to get rid of all the fungus spores. The best defense for a runner against toenail fungus is to make sure that you dry your running shoes out completely. Don't put them in a gym bag and don't throw them in the closet. Instead, put them somewhere where they would dry out completely. Leave them in the sun or you can even hang them on a heater vent in order to make sure that they'll dry completely before you wear them again. And if you've ever noticed any bruising in your toes suggesting that your toes are bumping up against the end of the shoes, it may be time to go to the running shoe store and invest in a pair of properly fitting running shoes. This can also make a huge difference. As long as you've taken these steps to get rid of the toenail fungus and keep it from accumulating, you shouldn't have any issues. If you have questions about toenail fungus, you can call us directly or you can learn more about running injuries at DocOnTheRun.com.